Photographers, videographers, we're going to talk about your logo branding, you're getting your website, everything done so that that can be out of the way. But instead, we're going to have these multi-million dollar companies paying for your branding instead of you yourself. So right now I'm in the process of building my own website. I took it down April of 23. It is January of 24 and it has been down since and it's just coming back up because I was like, well, I got to get a logo first. And, but for me to get a logo, I got to get the colors first. So we're going to go through it. I'm going to show you how we're going to pick the branding colors, why it's important, what some of the colors mean. And literally you don't have to pay a specialist to do this. Why don't you take Pepsi's money or Coca-Cola's money? So what I'm going to do first is we're going to pick this. This is the branding I'm going to go with. And the color is, I think it's three shades of green and a white. So let's get started. This is good. Seven up. Here we go. I got the bags from a local market. Videographer Gabriel, he picked his, I picked mine. So he picked the San Pellegrino and the colors are like this pink, peachish, the orange, the green, and then the blue. And then of course the white as a base. They wouldn't put any of these colors here accidentally if it just didn't work out. I use the is or Izzy. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure I'm gonna say it wrong and someone's gonna be happy to correct. Two shades of green and then it's also like a white in the back. Now point number one has to stay consistent. You might get very bored. You might say, I really like this, but next month as it gets deeper into spring, I, I want more of a peach or eastery pastel colors. You're going to have to kind of stick to your brand, marry it, and just realize that it conveys a message, but it's not the number one message. It's actually the, I consider it almost a tiebreaker or the thing that first catches your eye. What's going to get you booked is your work, your hair, your makeup. Uh, if you're a makeup artist or a hairstylist or a photographer or a videographer, that's what's going to get you booked. But if it comes down, to someone going, gosh, I really don't know. Do I like Walid or do I like John? Walid or John, I'm not sure. Let's say John picks a more blue and white can, almost like a Pepsi can. And Walid picks me, picks more of a vibrant green can. That can mean a multitude of things. Green is nature, health, clean, holistic. I just, I don't know, I just kind of like green. Okay, I don't even know what flavor this is, sparkling apple. That's great. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, who would I do if I was green, if I was holistic? Food photography, absolutely add green in your branding. If you do hair makeup and it's like more of like, I only do organic, non-animal tested makeup, green would be a fantastic addition to everything. So red could mean super, super vibrant. Red could mean exciting, hot, sexy. Red can also mean discounted, bulk item, marked down. Make sure that if you do that, so if you're a boudoir photographer, Red would be so nice as a Valentine's Day thing because then they would think of it as more sexy versus a markdown. Yellow, yellow is happiness, optimism. I would say orange is very similar to that too. If you are doing children's, if you are doing product photography, if I would even say potentially real estate, but real estate photographers, I'd say side more on the trust, loyalty, uh, reliability, that safe conservative colors of the blues and the grays and the whites because you're dealing with someone's largest purchase of their life or their investments. It's where they're going to put their family into it. Business, corporate, budgets, conservative, safe, uh, tiptoe culture, keep it really, really conservative. It's a great way to blend in and disappear. So you want to add a little bit of your personality into it, but that's what I would do. Black. If you use a lot of black, that's sophistication. That is a luxury, but it's also like a mood killer too. So if you do nightclub photography, black would be so nice. Uh, event photography, black would be really beautiful with a little bit of hint of maybe purple. Purple is luxury, uh, royalty, but it's not often loved. So in some of my branding, personally, I use purple and green just because traditionally you wouldn't put those two together. They're, they're almost a clash. I like that. I have a clashing personality, I guess, but uh, it sticks out. To me, that's something that I, that I go with. So if you go more into like an orange color or something, that's still playful. Uh, it still is vibrant. It's, I think it's a little bit of a safer version. A lot of sports team have that. Universities have orange and blue uh, colors. They work really, really well together. And then white is so virginal. 
It is so innocent, it's so pure, it's angelic, it's ethereal, which is why you get a lot of wedding photographers shooting white. It's just clean, it's new starts, everything. So figure out what type of a product you have. Your product is your videos, your photos, etc. That's what you want to serve. Now you might be thinking, yeah, but Waleed. Now what happens if you get tired of your branding colors? That's a little bit of too bad, grow up, stick with it, grow your brand. Your temporary emotions about a certain color are not currency. What's currency is the actual money that's coming into your business account and it's paying you and your employees. So if you decide to go with luxurious black with a little, little sliver of purple, like that other version of luxury, it's rain, it's like uh, purple rain, prints, etc. it's royalty. If that's what you're gonna stick with, and then you wanna move to vibrant yellow, it, it confuses your consumer base. Imagine going into a store and you have this American favorite, red, white, and blue Pepsi. And then all of a sudden Pepsi delivers you a green packaging. You're just, it, it doesn't sit well with you. It makes you feel uncomfortable. So a lot of when you book clients, a lot of it is psychology. That's why I say your color branding is not the most important thing. It's just that thing that gives you a little bit of an edge. If it is between you and someone else and they're like, damn, they're both so good, we don't know which one. Subconsciously, some people might go more towards like the green. I like this, it's fresher, it's cleaner. That might be their vibe. Someone else might say, I like this one, it's black, it's luxurious, it's moody, it's darker. And that's how you win. They may not say, oh, this one has a green logo. They'll say, I just feel more connected to this one. And just like a smile, just like a wave of a hello or a scent, like a cologne or perfume, might get someone's attention enough to look at you for one or two seconds longer. That's what a logo and your branding colors could do. So they might just be like, I really love the color of those greens. You stop and you're like, oh, this is a photography business. And then they can look at your work. So it's secondary. It is not the primary source of you getting hired. You want to stick with it. So I didn't get my logo or anything done because I was stuck. It was that analysis paralysis and I don't want you getting stuck with that. So if a brand has already served you with colors to look at, they've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on their branding, copy them. You don't have to start and reinvent the wheel. You just make it better. If this video helped you, this is going to help you. This is going to help you. This is where you subscribe. If you have questions, put them in the comments. I read them. I respond. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. My name is Walid Azami. That's my website right there. And I'll see you next time.